I'm a speech language pathologist and today I'm here to share certain strategies or and recommendations on how to help children transition from bottle to actually straw drinking and to steer away from sippy cups and why as a speech pathologist we don't recommend using sippy cups. I, I tell a lot of my friends and parents sippy cups were engineered for parents, not for children. When children are 12 months of age, the motor skills are improving a lot. Similarly are their oral motor skills. The mouth muscles are also gaining a lot of momentum because they can do a lot of stuff. So what does a bottle drinking do? The bottle has a nipple and a bottle. They actually inculcate or teach children to start using the tongues as an infant pattern, where they're sucking and swallowing, where the tongue tends to lay in the front of the mouth. And if we transition right away to a sippy cup, which is just actually like a bottle, it has a spout. So they have learned the same activity from the bottle drinking to a sippy cup. So not providing children with a lot of motor movements for the mouth, where in the tongue could be raised or elevated, where they could feel the tongue in the mouth. So instead of replacing the bottle with a sippy cup, as a speech pathologist, I highly recommend and tell the parents or the friends that I meet to use the sippy cup that doesn't have a spout, but actually has a straw. So, and there's a general, let's say a myth or probably general taboo that children have to be three years or they cannot take straws or they can't probably control a straw if they are so young. You'll be surprised what the mouth, what the mouth muscles can do. Take a look at it. Around 12 months, children are transitioning away from pureed or ground textures to start taking soft chewables. That means we already are have, we already have, or children already have the pattern to be able to move the tongue, elevate, bite, and chew. So why, why wait until three years to introduce the straw and keep on giving children the sippy cups? The other thing as a speech pathologist, the sippy cup does is it makes your mouth go like a, so I'm, I'm going to make a gesture here, like a, a fish's pout. So what happens is your, your teeth start over jetting and that may not be a good thing for a, ch for a child. So much better introduce those sippy cups, but with a straw. There are other things which are very, very nice for children. There's the honey bear bottle where the children can squeeze on the belly button. It has a straw and they can control the amount of liquid that comes out. So the parents, new parents don't have to worry about having spillage and that can, and the straw can be also closed off. And there, uh, there are other things, something called a sip tip cup. Sip tip cup that I like is also a regular takeaway, looks like a regular takeaway cup and it has a, it has a straw. And on the lid, it has a small hole which gives you the pipet action for a parent to control. So when you close these, uh, when you close the uh, hole and have the child suck on the straw, the liquid is controlled as to how much liquid comes out. So you can teach children to transition from bottle to start drinking right away or even to an open cup.